it is another weekend of hanging out with Stella. <laughs> what a surprise, right? <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> we actually uh, went to have some pedicures this morning to cow shed. How did you like it? It was really good, yeah. Really, it really good. Nice, it yeah. was really nice. It was actually like my first proper pedicure because usually I do it myself. So I didn't know what to expect, but I really enjoyed it and I would definitely go back. And then we went to have some lunch. We had like a proper Sunday roast. Um, the pub is called the Princess of the Pri Shortage. Yeah, the Princess of Shortage. And now we're off to do some exploring around the Shortage area and hopefully take some nice photos. <laughs> When you're too full to finish your lunch, but you end up getting cronuts afterwards. <laughs> so I got the Nutella one. And here's mine. Look how cute this is. We're back at Stella's place now because it was so, so freezing outside. I think it's because of the wind. It wasn't enjoyable to walk around at all. So we came here to be a bit more cozy and warm. Stella, on a scale of one to pig, how do you feel right now? I'm quite okay, to be honest. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm not so, pregnant today. So I feel like a pig. No, like that cronut. Like it really was not necessary, but it was really nice. And I've been craving donuts like crazy for the past few days because there's a carnival back in Slovenia and everyone is like um, posting photos of like donuts because that's what we eat when the carnival's on. So I've been craving donuts like crazy. So yeah, that cronut kind of made up for it. Thank God for this parcel coming today because long story short, all of my jeans fell apart this week. I mean, A plus for being so synchronized. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But yeah, I'm really glad that the parcel arrived today because I was afraid it was gonna arrive on Monday. In that case, I would have to resort to wearing dresses for the rest of the week and probably get frostbites because London has been really cold recently. But yeah, I ordered myself some new jeggings. The ones that I always get, they're the Eden ones from Dorothy Perkins, as you have seen. Um, and I also ordered myself a jumper that I'm gonna try on now. And I think also some flats. I have a confession to make. The only reason I ordered those was to get free shipping. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna keep them. I might return them because returns are free. Let me know if you do that too sometimes or is it just me? That's really naughty. <laughs> Here are my jeggings. Just blue. Not even sure if you can see. And a black pair. Here's the jumper that I'm gonna try on. And these are the flats. I still am gonna try them on because I have actually been looking for like just very simple tan flats that I can wear with everything in the summertime. Although experiencing proper summer is apparently not in my destiny anymore. It's been years since I last went on like a proper summer beach holiday, you know. But yeah, I gotta have a pair of really versatile flats in your wardrobe, right? Um, anyway, I'm gonna try on the jumper and the flats now. I just turned on my studio light because <laughs> the lighting in my room is so crappy, you can't even see me. Um, so yeah, I thought I would switch it on so that you can see how the jumper looks like. I don't think I'm gonna keep it because it's like very big here and like the sleeves are way too long. Yeah, I don't, you know, like love it, so think it's gonna go back and these are the flats which I actually think I'm going to keep because they are surprisingly comfy I mean I am trying them on on carpet so <laughs> that's probably not a great representation but I feel like these wouldn't give me major blisters like most other sandals do so I think I might keep them and they were only eight pounds if I remember correctly because they were discounted so what do you say should I keep them or should I return them? So you know how happy I was to receive my jeggings last night so that I could wash them and wear them today, right? Well, silly me forgot to take them out of the washing machine so they were in all night and obviously <laughs> they are not dry now by any means because I hung them up at like 10 a.m. in the morning and now it's one or two. <sighs> That's why I shouldn't be thinking about 20 different things at the same time. 
welcome to my life <laughs> anywho i just got ready i ran out of time to film a sit down video so i'm gonna do that when i come home but now i'm off to the breakfast club with stella and jonathan it was pancake day here in the uk a couple of days ago and a lot of the restaurants that do pancakes um, are doing like special menus this week so we're gonna go check it out see if they have any interesting options on the menu and yeah just have pancakes for lunch I guess <laughs> honestly I'm so excited because I've been dreaming about having pancakes for the last two weeks so they are very much needed in my belly but before I go because I do have a few minutes to spare I thought I would show you some new goodies that I have and I think I'll be obsessed with first of all before before anyone asks the lipstick that I'm wearing today is this one it is by a company called nude sticks and it's the magnetic matte lip color in the shade Montagne Mon I can't pronounce it it sounds French but yeah it is the shade I'm wearing today Ooh, and I just dropped it but yeah it's really nice I like it the only issue that I have with it at this point is that it's really drying so I did have to put up a little bit of lip balm over the top because my lips were feeling like really 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 dry um, and I really don't like that kind of feeling on my lips and I haven't exfoliated my lips either so it just didn't look quite right but I do really love the shade I think it's like a, the perfect um, darker nude for me and now one more thing you know when I was home for Christmas um, my sister had this was it morphe palette that they did in a collaboration with jacqueline hill i was using that palette all the time when i was home and i fell in love with it especially a couple of orangey shades which were missing from my collection and i've just been thinking about buying my own one and then this palette entered my life which i'm really happy about it's the zoeva matte palette i don't even know how it's called yeah it's just called zoeva matte eyeshadow palette this is how it looks like and when you open it up ta-da oh 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 i'm dropping things again look at this beautiful shade this is the one i'm wearing today in the crease and this one's really pretty as well yeah i'm just oh, really excited to have this in my life honestly i'm obsessed with it already and i've only used it once oh and here's the close-up of the lipstick i was just talking about let's show you the shade here it is also i'm wearing a dress tonight if you can see because i have like all these sunshine on me which i'm not complaining about <laughs> but yeah i'm wearing a dress today ended up wearing a dress after the jeans disaster <laughs> let's see it a little bit better over here it's just a plain gray like jumper dress so nothing special but it is from asos by the way i'm gonna link all the items that i've mentioned in the description box below in case you're looking for any like links and stuff also finally taking my rebecca minkoff around london town because i haven't worn it here yet because i can't fit my wallet into it but i just transferred my credit cards and everything into this so that i can take it with me today day and i need to put my camera in as well and my phone so i'm gonna do that now and then leave oh and because it's sunny outside which doesn't happen very often here in london i'm also taking with me my new sunglasses which i love i wore them a little bit last weekend and oh i'm so glad i bought them this is how they look like on what do you think i think they're really cool now i really have to go otherwise i'll miss my train which wouldn't be great at all so i'll speak to you later <laughs> can give you the professional opinion on the pancakes <laughs> well the pancakes were good but the amount of meat was too much limited yeah i, I couldn't find the pork at all like yeah he had pancakes. pulled pork yeah. and the chicken was like so few yeah what did you get i had like the vegan gluten-free pancakes with like blueberries and maple syrup and banana they were fine but they were a bit plain so i wouldn't order them again i prefer their like original offering with like some sort of cream and strawberries i think where are we going now uh i think we're going to old street yeah. old street it's a cool bar around old street it's called 98 they do one of the best cocktails in the world Ooh. so yeah 
Okay, so we have arrived. There's quite a few rooms here, and this is one of them. So random. It's pink. Wow. Stella getting comfortable. <laughs> the art here is quite interesting. <laughs> I think it's closed here. Yeah, she said there's offices upstairs, so I think that's maybe it. Maybe that's it. Well, I'm pretty sure there are more rooms. I'm pretty sure of it. So here's our cocktails, me and Stella's. This is Jonathan's cocktail. I cheated because I already knew the cocktails. Okay, not much more because we waited too long. We are back inside now. I'm currently at Stella's place. I feel like I'm here more often than I am like back home. <laughs> um, I feel like I always walk here. But Stella was really kind and got me some stuff. She basically works in merchandising, fashion merchandising. Um, and they have sample sales at work, which means that you can get stuff for real cheap. <laughs> so she picked up some stuff for me and I'm gonna try them on. Here's the pile of lovely clothes. So yeah, I'm gonna rummage through and try these on and see if anything fits. These two don't fit, so I'm not gonna show them to you. I mean, they do fit, but they're like too tight on me. Like I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> because I like loose clothing but got these PJs another penguin PJ which is really cute let me show you the the top here it is super cute oh sorry about the strap this is a wallet that I feel like will be great for traveling because it has a lot of different compartments here's like another big one and then here is another one which I feel like will be great for um like boarding passes and stuff like that so i feel like this one will be great for traveling and i also have this top for like lounging around the house which is really soft and now we're back doing what we do best eating <laughs> have some very naughty dinner pizza and some chicken but the salad makes up for it it's, it's all about the balance I just came home, it is 11 p.m. now, so I don't think there's gonna be any video filming going on tonight. I'll have to reschedule that for tomorrow and put this video up next instead. So I guess I'll say goodbye to you over here. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking.